welcome back in today's video i am going to show you a employee attendance system which have two functionalities the admin and user so first of all i am going to log in as a admin i enter my username and password and press on the sign in and when i click on the sign in so now you can able to see i am successfully logged as a admin so this is the overview of admin dashboard and you can see here in the sidebar you have change password functionality manage users manage holidays leave request and salary but if i log in as a user as a employee so i will able to see my dashboard like this like i can able to see to check my history change password or request a leave okay so be with me in this video i am going to explain you all the features which i have added in my code in this web application and uh, if you don't subs if, if you are not subscribe our channel press on the subscribe button and press the bell icon so let's start our portal uh, our portal okay overview so in the admin portal we have here a select user option which is shows you all the available users in our database so in our database right now what is our database our database is our google sheet in our google sheet we have multiple child sheets employees main sheet leave request holidays salary and login history these are all the child sheets so in our employees we have right now two users okay one admin and one user uh the admin is login so if what uh, if i want to keep uh track the progress of my employee of my employee okay uh if i want to track this employee performance of the month of a particular month or a particular year so i just select from the drop down that particular user that particular user select this and select the month if i want to track the month one so right now you can able to see all the data which comes here so okay if i want to track the uh, for the month of february so now you can able to see the total days in this month of the february 2025 is 28 five holidays means five sundays comes and 23 other days and on and from the 23 days how much days he will be present okay so this is the statics or if you want to also filter like the 2020 uh 2020 20, uh the, the february 2020 uh 29 days so now you can able to see also filtered data through the year so this is our admin so in the history section which uh, user you have selected which user you have selected you can able to see that particular user attendance history on this date he is absent on this date he is this okay so i am selecting to the month three and right now you can able to see only one present okay uh, i am going to uh in the main section in the main section i am going to delete this okay i am going to delete this and delete this also so right now i am selecting it to all in all you can able to see the statical data right now no data no no attendance system in our database app so i am going to click on the clock in so the clock in makes you the attendance marked okay so you have marked the attendance you can uh, get the ip address where you mark the attendance and also the location okay so this feature is also you have uh, already seen in our previous videos uh, in this video the, basically this is the upgraded version of our this attendance portal system okay so now i have marked the attendance so now i click on this clock out when i click on this clock out so now you can able to see i am clocked out at this time so in this time you have to see i am clocked out and clocked in that but now when i click on this clock in so now you can able to see you are already clogged in today you cannot able to make more clock in today okay so this is the system and if this is the history uh, when i click on this history then history is not comes when i select a particular user i select the kitchen community one which is me so right now you can able to see one present in this month 25 days still remaining in this in this month except five holidays except five holidays. five holidays means five sundays comes okay so 25 days more remain in this world if i marked all presents it will become zero okay so what is this leave scene 
what is this leave what does this leave means okay i will explain you this uh, right now in this user i am going to refresh this web application and log in as my user you can see here's my user username and password and click on this login when i click on this sign in so now you can able to see i am successfully logged as a user as a employee so uh, today i want a leave i just simply click on this request leave when i click on this request leave so right now so right now you can able to see i am able to see my request leave already i have submitted uh, two leaves uh, one is approved and one is cancelled so i am going to uh, for today uh, saturday uh, is one and uh, i will uh, explain uh, uh, again enter the i am sick and click on this submit so when i click on this submit leave request is submitted it's currently in pending state okay so in our admin when i am going to the leave sections so right now you can able to see i have received one application which is pending okay i can i, I if i search this user this user cannot because this is me he cannot send me the leave request but i select the user which sent me the leave request so now you can see here now you can see here the user sent me three leave requests one i approved one i cancelled and one is pending i can i can approve or decline here so if i approve this so right now you can see if i leave approved so here you will able to see uh, we need to refresh our web application we need to refresh our web application uh, for check the changes happen or not so i click on this sign in again so when i click on this sign in so right now you can see today uh, i i i i submitted a request for the leave okay today i submitted the and it's approved so in our dashboard my two days leave is marked automatically successfully so this is the leave section what i want mean to say okay so in this section you have a change password in change password section when you click on this change password so you will see a pop-up here you will see a pop-up here you can enter your old password and replace with new password so for example uh, i enter my old password here uh one two three four and uh, i just here one two three four five six so i just change it so in my google sheet so right now you can see here my password is successfully checked but i remain it same for my easiness so you can see here i can easily in manage user sections you can see all the users and you can easily update or delete for example i want to make it a name with ali so now you can able to see the user is successfully updated and the data is updated real time so if i want to add a new user i will enter the user id i will enter the password and the role is user and the full name is ramesh okay so when i click on this save so right now you can able to see i am successfully added a user okay i have successfully added a user i open a new link uh, i open a uh, link in the new tab and uh, enter my uh, user id enter my user id here and uh, uh, enter my user id here and also the password copy here and paste it here and click on this sign in so when i click on this sign in invalid credentials because here we have added the small okay so when i click on this sign in so right now you can able to see i am successfully i am successfully logged as this user so now you can see here welcome remis if the username if the name is not here present then it will show the email id here like this okay so when i click on this clock in so right now you can able to see i am successfully clocked in okay so i am successfully clocked in so when i click on this clock out i am successfully clocked out one more feature in this web application we have that feature is that uh for example if i click on this clock in so right now you can able to see it's clocked in okay so this is this uh, feature you can uh, clock in and clock out and mark the attendance from here okay so in the salary section in the salary what is the salary section in the salary section you just select the user okay you just select the user and and it no salary is given here okay you can uh, use filters all and click on this add icon from the drop down you can select the user you can select the month you can select the year uh, how much amount you have paid uh, 60000 
and select the date on which date we have paid and and select the note from here okay uh salary okay this is the salary and click on this save when you click on this save so right now you can able to see your salary is given to this user on this date you have keep record this okay so in manage holidays what is the manage holidays for example uh you have a marked uh, uh you have marked uh, for example what i mean to say you have marked the two and uh, here you will add the reason uh government announced okay government holiday government holiday so uh you can click on this add holiday when you click on this add holiday so all the users to, uh, on the day on this date will be automatically marked as leave okay will be automatically marked as leave so you can also check that so this is the manage user this is the history so uh like that you can uh use this portal for your employee attendance management system and uh, you can able to see uh, this will collect the uh, user location and user ip address and multiple features in this web application have we have a complete uh, uh, employee attendance web portal with use with employee and admin section so this is our complete web application make sure you subscribe our channel click on this all icon and press the bell icon and do the comments in our video so please take care, uh, uh, meet you in our next